All right, we're gonna see if we can make this work while we're um, while I'm driving home. Running around today before the Super Bowl, and I've been trying to get this off my chest for the last few days. If you guys watch Soul Food, you know, this past Wednesday, you know we talked a little bit about it, but I really didn't get a chance to get into it, so. I got about 20 minutes or so before I make it home. Hopefully this won't take 20 minutes, but if it does, so be it. I got a prop. And the problem is I got to start backwards first. About three or four years ago, I really started to get on uh, Nike's Black History Month. And yeah, I just really liked what they were doing, the silhouettes, the colorways, those different things that they were doing. And I remember buying a pair and I had a card on the inside. I'm gonna see if I can find that card. If I do it, I'll probably be dropping it in the video now. Power of One. Proceeds from the sale of this product will support the Nike Ever Higher Fund to support charitable initiatives that leverage the power of sport to maximize the human potential of underserved youth. The goal is to assist communities with the knowledge, resources, and tools needed to encourage, engage, and develop the next generation of leaders. And of course, since it's Black History Month, I assumed that was leaders in the black community. But it talked about, in addition to, you know, the motifs that they were using and celebrating black history, they also were donating proceeds to what I believe to be certain groups that worked with and supported issues that were important in the black community. Because after all, it is a black history shoe, right? So fast forward this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Nike's Black History Month collection is coming out. And um, I had already seen that uh, another company uh, had had information about their black history shoe and already actually released it. And it recognized the accomplishments of... Arthur Ashe, which I thought was really dope. I think the year before that, they recognized Jesse Owens. Again, very dope. And before that, it was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So I'm waiting and waiting, Nike. And finally, I see a shoe, all black shoe with gold. It's a one, supposed to have that super... Um, leather like the shattered backboards and it's got patches on it and it's just really like it doesn't show very much thought or anything for me and I'm hoping gosh don't let this be what the whole black history month collection is all about so I think on Wednesday of last week Nike finally dropped their information about the black history month collection the collection is mostly black and gold, and some of the shoes have a sole, which is kind of a marbled sole. Mm. I was kind of eh, not that excited about it. But as I started to read the information, I read, you know, using sport to celebrate black history. Or I'm paraphrasing because obviously I'm not reading. And then they go on to talk about the fact that, and I've read some of this information on other releases, and it generally said something about supporting um, uh, youth in, sometimes it even said African American youth, which again, it should because it is Black History, and it's a Black History Month collection. But this particular release said that it was to bring sport to all youth everywhere huh and 
that they were attaching themselves to some global initiative. Yeah, what I'm doing right now is what I did because I had to think about it and I had to reread it a couple times. So now, one of the reasons that I was really like hyped about the Black History Month collection was first of all, some of the shoes were very dope. And secondly, it was like, okay, I'm getting this dope shoe and I'm also proceeds from my purchase of the shoe is going back into my community because yes, I'm a black man. And yes, it is a Black History Month collection. <laughs> now I get to the point where I'm ranting and I'm disappointed because it ain't supporting the black community. Supporting the Boys and Girls Club is cool. I'm with that. But everybody that goes to the Boys and Girls Club finish the sentence. I don't want this to get into a black versus white, blah, 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 blah. If you want to go there, go there. But that's not what I'm trying to say or intimate. I use a comparison and I use it in, in a couple conversations with people and they were and even in my post on Instagram and they really some people really weren't feeling me and I really don't care but 100% of the proceeds from the Dornbecker shoes goes to the Dornbecker hospital so I'm not mad if 100% of the Black History Month shoe is not going or shoes is not going to the African American community. 10%, 15%, something. But put it in my community. Because again, it is the Black History Month collection. No. So now I have a dilemma. Because as I'm reading, let me back up and say the first Black History Month shoe dropped I think in 2005 it used to be an Air Force One low and for a couple years in the month of February they would do a what they were calling a Black History Month shoe which was an Air Force One and it had some type of African inspired motif be it a pan-African flag with the red black and the green or using kente cloths or muted cloths or muted colors uh, that you see in a lot of uh, traditional African garments. So at a certain point, I want to say 2009, 2010, somewhere around in there, maybe even 2011, they expanded it from not only the Air Force One, but to other of their shoes that were their signature shoes at that particular time. So it was usually a Jordan. When it started, maybe it was a Kobe and a LeBron. In recent years, it's morphed uh, Kobe, LeBron, and Kyrie, and some Jordan, and maybe another shoe that they're trying to reintroduce in the 2017 uh, uh, collection. They're reintroducing the Trunner. But now I'm salty, because one of the reasons that I had for buying and supporting this collection is gone. Don't get me wrong, supporting global youth it's cool. But if you worried about calling something equality or unity, excuse me, damn it, call it the unity collection. Call it the equality collection. But do not call it the Black History Month collection. And you are not telling me nothing about black history. You tell me that you're celebrating it. How are you celebrating it? By supporting everybody else? Let me calm down. The Black History Month collection celebrates black heritage in sport and beyond around the world and has historically provided financial support to Nike's Ever Higher Fund, which was created to bring mentorship, sports, and all of its benefits to youth and their communities. Nike is proud to support numerous organizations that provide services to underrepresented youth, including African-American youth, during the year. 
Longtime partners include the Jackie Robinson Foundation, Boys and Girls Clubs, National Head Start, and Coaches Across America. Nike also recently announced two new partnerships with Mentor and Peace Players International to expand opportunities for youth and promote diversity, inclusion, and equality in communities across the U.S. The Equality T is part of Nike's ongoing commitment to equality, diversity, and inclusion. Nike will continue to follow the inspiration from our athletes and employees to uplift and bring people together in the following months and beyond. To learn more, go to nike.com forward slash equality. Those interested in peace players or mentor are invited to visit peace players intl.org and mentoring.org again these are supported by the black history month collection but are not supporting african americans exclusively so i delayed doing this video because even while i'm recording it right now i'm not really sure what to do you know, some people have suggested that this is why they don't support the Black History Month collection. But if I'm still buying J's, what's the difference? I feel that that's real talk. No disrespect to people who've come to that conclusion. I don't know if that's enough of a conclusion for me. I, I really don't. I don't know. I apologize for the video being all washed out now because of the sun. But again, I'm driving and it's the direction I'm going and it's not really anything I can do. But... So, if I say I'm not going to support the collection, but I know I'm still, I still, you know, I'm a sneaker person, whatever you want to call yourself, sneaker enthusiast, you know, am I just not going to buy Nikes and Jordans? No, when I do that, I'm out the game completely. And everybody's got something. So what do I do? One of the things I'm trying to do, and I I uh, started it and just have not been able to finish it yet, is to write a letter expressing what I'm expressing with you right now because I don't expect anybody from Nike is going to get on my YouTube page and see this video. So the only way that I can express my displeasure is to be able to write. So in the comments to this video, if you work for Nike or you know somebody that works for Nike and you know how I can contact a media person or someone who is involved specifically with the Black History Month collection, not just Nike shoes in general, um, leave a comment or hit me up uh, on, my, um, on my email. It's ogsneakers at gmail. You know, O-G-S-N-E-E-K-E-R-Z at gmail. Just hit me up with the information or suggestion uh, on who I might forward that letter to. Uh, and when I do, I'm not going to read you the letter, but I will share with you that I've said, or maybe I will read it, I don't know. But at least share, come back and share with the family what, if any, response I've gotten. But, you know, at this point, I'm really trying to figure out how to approach this. What, what do I do? Um... I don't know. I'm very disappointed. I'm not upset. I also feel like I used in the discussion on Soul Food Wednesday, you know, is this pandering? Are you using motifs that you know uh, are out of our experience and that will speak to the African American community and then taking the profits to use them for something else? I don't know, but I'm very, very disappointed. And I guess disappointed because you know how when you meet somebody, like maybe a sports figure or something, you think the person is really, really cool, and then you find out that they're an asshole, and you kind of feel like, wow, you know, all this time I've been kind of supporting this person or cheering for him, and he or she is really a jerk. You know, it kind of makes you feel some kind of way. So, 
let me just say to be continued. There will be a part two to this, but that, that's just where I am. But what do you think about it, family? What, what are your thoughts? If you have any comments or even a suggestion as to how I might approach this, you know, let me know. I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me. I'm not quite home, but I'm all the way home. So I guess I need to roll down the window so I can cool off. But yeah, that's that's my rant. That's how I'm feeling about that. But let me know how you feel, what you think. Again, we always appreciate you interacting. Love to read your comments on the videos. And if you haven't checked out Soul Food on Wednesday, please do check it out every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. Me and Dabs from the Sneaker Family chopping it up for the month of February. It's going to be hosted on my channel, on the OG Sneakers channel. So... Make sure that you go to the channel on YouTube and subscribe and then hit that um, notifications bell. So when we go live for Soul Food or a new video drops, you'll be notified and you can jump in. You know that we appreciate you. It's your boy OG Sneakers. Wishing all the family one love. Holla. <laughs>